how to link an employee to a username in Oracle Fusion Cloud. So a number of times what happens is uh, as an implementer or maybe as a support person one creates their username in Oracle Fusion Cloud so that they can quickly log in and start using Fusion applications. But certain forms also requires you to have an employee set up. For example, in order to raise a requisition, you've got to be an employee defined. So in such a case, if you simply log in and go and try to raise a requisition, you will get an error. And then comes the need to link an employee to a username. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an employee and while creating the employee, how you can link an employee to a username in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Okay, so let's go into Fusion instance. Alright, so I've just logged in and before I proceed further, let me show you the release and version of Fusion Cloud I am in. So I'm going to go to about this application and as you could see, we are on release 13 with a version of 21D which is supposed to be the latest version at the moment. Having said that, now you've got to navigate to setup and maintenance. So from the right hand side, simply click on this and go to setup and maintenance. And from here, you change the offering uh, to say procurement. Okay, and then you click on users and security. And then you see something called as uh, manage users, right? So you click on this one. And here I'm going to click on this plus icon. Basically, this is the place wherein you can click and create a new employee. And here I'm going to give the last name, let's say Bates, first name Bill and then I would say title as mister and then I would say email as bill dot bates at let's say oracle dot com okay and uh, then I will come down and here I would here you can provide a new username if you like but I want to link it to an existing username so you link it to an existing username and then I'm going to click on this link and you search for the username that you like. So let's say if I want to search and link it to FINIMPL user, then you can do that. You see this user or this user if I want to link it and I would say OK. And then I would come down and um, if you if you want, you can give the person type here. Let's say this is an employee because we're creating an employee so you give this and then you give related information so let's say legal employer here you have to choose the legal entity so let's say us1 okay and likewise i'm going to choose a legal entity say us1 So choose like this and optionally you can choose the job and uh, let's say what's the job the job could be a buyer I don't know whether this has got a job of a buyer it does it is accepted it and then you can move on you can optionally select a manager so let's say a manager could be Casey Brown or maybe Brown and then you will have a uh, see this one say KC Brown okay and then you can come down and you may want to see uh, the resource information if you like you can add it but I'm gonna skip all that and then I would simply hit the save and close button so at this time what will happen a new employee will be saved at the same time it will be linked to a existing user called as FIN IMPL and while we are creating the new employee, we have given additional information of that employee, which includes the legal entity and the business unit and the job it 
belongs to and once you're done you simply hit the save and close button to save this employee in the database so next time you log in with this particular user fin impl what will happen is you will be greeted with not welcome fin impl but welcome bill baits so this is the change you will see as soon as you save this and log on make sure you log out and re-log in to see the changes